Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course uh, Aspects of Biochemical Engineering. In the last uh, two lectures, I tried to discuss the air sterilization process. Now, uh, mm, uh, this uh, particular lecture uh, and coming lecture, I am going to discuss uh, the medium sterilization because the medium sterilization is appears to be the one, uh, one uh, very important uh, aspects. Uh, as per biochemical industry is concerned because the purpose uh, I uh, let me repeat it again that purpose of the sterilization is to allow your desired organism to grow and uh, uh, and uh, that is why you want to make the environment to totally free from other organisms so that your desired organism can grow. Now here if you look at that uh, what is the purpose of the medium sterilization, medium sterilization is uh, one of the most uh, uh, the one of the fast and most critical unit operation required for successful fermentation the objective is to prevent the growth of undesired microorganism during the course of a fermentation and bioconversion uh, enzyme catalyzed reaction and medium storage so you know that uh, th this is the main purpose as i told you the medium sterilization can be achieved by two means one is filtration and, uh, and there is a thermal treatment for discussion. Now, filtration I have we have shown previously in the filtration what we do we physically remove the microorganism. I what I told that suppose you have fiber like this in between the fiber you have when you when you suppose you have this is filter I told you this is filter and this is the supporting material. So, when you pass your air like this so this is the fiber and in between the fiber your organism will be entrapped am i right and in case of another type of this is fiber in case of membrane we have pore size on the basis of that we can we will not allow the bigger size particle to enter into the uh, system this is how we can do that and thermal treatment uh, is the is the is the is the, is the we, we heat it so that you know your organisms are killed so, I told you that high temperature the protein undergo denaturation process and due to denaturation of the protein, the process denaturation of the protein the biochemical activities of the organism will be stopped and your organism will be killed that uh, okay. Now, mm, that uh, now in case of media that uh, since uh, the media is a good conductor of heat that we, we consider the heat is the best media for the sterilization of medi the medium, but uh, in uh, not like uh, air sterilization because air sterilization I mentioned the air is a non conductor of heat. So, that, that is why um, we consider the filtration technique for air sterilization. Now, in case of uh, medium sterilization since we are it is aqueous based water based and water is good conductor of heat. So, we, we go for thermal sterilization process. Now, sterilization of filter. Now, the sterilization of filter we sometime we used to do because let me let me tell you the what why we don't use uh, this uh, filtration technique for medium sterilization because again it depends on the uh, on the on the uh, on the type of fermentation you are looking for because why because suppose I use some kind of membrane filter. Am I right? Now, in case of membrane filter, this is the membrane and you want to pass your uh, ma material bond end and take out the material from your uh, other end. Now, suppose size of the bacteria uh, is uh, 0 0.5 to 2 microns, am I right? So, your what is this, uh, what is the pore size of the membrane? It should be less than, it should be less than, less than 0 0.5 micron, less than 0 0.5 microns, am I right? So, uh, now if you pass the air that that media through this uh, uh, through this uh, uh, membrane, there will be tremendous pressure 
the drop across the across the membrane and due to the tremendous pressure drop your operational cost of the process increase very high so your operational and not only that you know due to high pressure difference what will happen that the life of the filter that membrane also is a very important factor because life of the membrane will be reduced am i right now let me discuss about the how the sterilization process is uh, effective by filtration filtration process does not destroy but remove the microorganism <coughs> it is used both for the clarification and uh, sterilization of the liquid as it is capable of preventing the passage of both viable and non viable particle sterilized solution may be damaged or denatured by high temperature or chemical agent this is the this is one of the may reason where we we can consider that uh, that you know that uh, filtration by uh, that uh, sterilization by filtration in case of medium sterilization process and and we have we have we have, we have come across two type of bio products we have in the market one is high value products another is the low value products high value products means per unit cost of the products is very high so when we handle the high value products that means your volume of the liquid volume of the uh, that uh, uh, your product that will be very less and uh, there we can we can think for this uh, sterilization uh, through this filtration process <coughs> now major me the me mechanism of filtration by sieving adsorption and trapping within the matrix of the filter material the pore size of the filtering bacteria yeast and fungi is in the range of 0.22 to 0.45 microns now let us see what is the advantage of using this uh, that you know thermal sterilization process now thermal sterilization as i told you that in case of thermal sterilization process because why we use because uh, water is good conductor of heat that is one of the reason and it, it uh, when you heat it your bacteria or in you know, organism uh, that protein present inside the organism that undergo denaturation so that the the uh, the activity of the enzyme will be lost and uh, organism will lose uh, their biochemical characteristics now this can be done in two three uh, two ways by using you uh, one is by using dry heat and moisture heat dry heat means it employs the higher temperature in the range of 160 to 180 degrees centigrade and required the exposure time two hours depending upon the uh, uh, that temperature employment but uh, in case of moist it is uh, quite effective this is 121 to 140 degrees centigrade and steep steam under pressure is used to generate higher temperature needed for sterilization now because obviously the moist heat is must much, much more effective as compared to dry heat that i i, I told you that uh, and dry heat means by using hot air we do that and moist heat by with the help of steam we do that now uh, now there is a there is a term Called thermal uh, death uh, death time. However, the thermal death time means the shortest time required to kill the microorganism in a sample at a specific temperature under def defined conditions. This is the this is the this is the how to call thermal death time. And decimal death reduction time is what it is the time required to kill that ninety uh, percent. Uh, uh, of the organisms in a sample at a specific temperature so two type of time we consider one is thermal death time that to kill the microorganism how much time is required and another is the decimal reduction time to reduce the organism to one tenth that is that is why we call it decimal reduction time now the uh, let, let us see the equation the kinetics of thermal death rate uh, of microorganism now dn by dt this is the first order kinetics kd is the thermal death rate constant and n is the 
and the number of viable organisms this is this is the how we can, we can write it now this we can we can express easily in this form that uh, no, this is dln dln n equal to kd into dt am i right so this we can write in this form if you write this is minus so we can we can write in this form then uh, from this equation we can uh, we can we can we can come th this equation the ln i told you this is ln uh, ln t ln t by uh, n0 k into dt and decimal reduction time is what that i told you that uh, uh, that uh, wo, wo nt whatever is the there it should be this will be what in 0 by 10 decimal reduction time uh, one tenth of that so you know that uh, so this is exactly that uh, we can we can n by n0 that will be 1 by 10 that will be equal to mm, that e to the power k1 e to the power kd into d that uh, d is the decimal reduction time so this will be equal to 2.303 by kd so <coughs> Here I want to point out that when decimal reduction time is inversely proportional to K D. That means as your temperature increases, suppose you, you have this temperature and this is K D value. As you increase the temperature, you will find the K D value also increases. Now as your K D value increases, then thermal de decimal reduction time will reduce significantly. And this is the advantage of uh, um, this is the advantage we use in case of continuous sterilization process. I, I shall explain you later. Now, this is the plot that we have. This is uh, exactly that uh, why I was discussing about that uh, minus dn by dt equal to kd into n. Am I right? So, this is the, the straight line plot. If you if you if you if you write like this uh, d n by n is equal to k d into d t. I mean, now, now if you plot uh, this is what this is equal to d l n n minus this is equal to the uh, k d into d t. So, this is negative <coughs> the, so this will be negative plot here if you take it out it will negative so it is negative plot. So, it will be straight line basically this is y equal to m x. So basically, this will be a straight line, and slope <coughs> slope will give you the value of KD. This is KD is the decimal reduction time. Now, if you if you if you if you have normal plot n t by n zero, then you will be having this kind of plot. So, <coughs> if you look at the kinetic description, makes two prediction. Uh, which contradicts each other at a finite time as at infinite time as the infinite time increase is required to achieve the sterilized sterile condition and after a certain time there will be less than one viable organism remaining that is exactly i was uh, try to point out that you know to get 100% sterility is very difficult to achieve so what we do one uh, how much uh, organism we allow how with on the on the basis of how much organism input that that we shall have to do. So, infinite uh, that an infinite time is required to achieve the sterile conditions. The value of nt less than one organism <coughs> is considered in terms of probability of the organism of surviving of a treatment. So, how much organism will be survived out of in how much organism input that we consider that that determine the degree of sterility. Now, thermal this is very interesting if you look at that uh, thermal uh, this uh, we have already shown this is log log graph paper you can see the 10 to the 5, 10 to the 5, 10 to the minus this is this is log 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 this is log semi log graph paper not this is semi log. So, this is this is the time. So, we, we find that as the temperature increases like this. So, this is 54, this is 56, 58, 50, 60. Now, as you tell me, this slope will be becoming steeper and steeper. And this slope will be, will be what? This slope, I we have already find out, this is kd. 
that means kd value increases as the temperature increases am i right and if you normal pl normal plot will be this is this is kind of pattern we will get now this is the this is very interesting thing that if you look at uh, here at 100 degrees if you have 100 degrees the sterilization temperature kd value or the thermal death rate constant value k is the thermal death rate constant the holding time uh, is uh, one 1730 minutes that means this is the sterilization time that is required now 110 degrees centigrade it is required 164 degrees centigrade this is by using the organism bacillus thermophilus. now why we consider bacillus thermophilus? because this is the um, uh, heat stable organism that is why we have taken into consider the 120 degree centigrade it is 17 minutes 130 degree centigrade it is 2 minutes 140 degree centigrade to 0 0.2 to 25 and uh, 150 degrees 0 0.04 now what does it signifies it signifies that as your temperature increases your time drastically reduce and that is very important why it is important because um, if you look at uh, that you know deactivation temperature of the uh, vitamins or, or amino acids so it is usually lie in between what 80 to 90 kilojoules per mole am i right now, if you look at the uh, microorganism, it is very high. It is about 300 uh, something because you know it is close to 300 kilojoules. So, even so, what I want to mean that even uh, this see 100 degree centigrade means you heat it for very so at a very small temperature. So then you have to keep it for longer period of time. So if you keep it for longer period of time, that your D, your KD, the deactivation energy that is required for the deactivation of the vitamin and amino acid that already you supply so you know that uh, that uh, degradation of the medium quality will decrease to a great extent and but if you increase high temperature then you are reducing you are reducing very short time and naturally that is you are you are holding the media for a short period of time and so loss of the uh, nutrient will be very less that is why in the industry we use the technique what we call HTHT HTHT means high temperature short time this is largely used by in the media because if you expose uh, because now I, I can give the example suppose in a media you have uh, some nutrients and concentration is there let us assume uh, the volume of the media is V and uh, the quantity of the uh, ingredients that you are uh, we're talking about the may, may, let us assume the amino acid concentration may be uh, you see so you know that so so this uh, this uh, this will like this the this uh, obviously it may uh, this is uh, this may depends on temperature this is how the this equality that you know decrease with respect to temperature so you can easily find out now suppose this is uh, this is 100 degree centigrade and this is maybe 140 degree centigrade but it it might be uh, maybe maybe this is maybe for uh, 100 minutes this is might be for 20 minutes but you know that if you go like this that you know that uh, even even uh, at low, lower value you will find that what i want to say uh, want to tell you that uh, if you go for higher temperature then your exposure time will be very less that is drastically reduced and so the quality of the vitamin will be will be remain like this so what i can i can tell this is this is one plot this is another plot so mm, so we have we have uh, we can we can easily find out that uh, the quality this is uh, v1 this is let us v1 into n and uh, this is v2 into n so this is the smaller volume and this is the bigger volume so uh, if you if uh, this is the plot that you have 
Now, in case of in case of bash sterilization process, if you as you increase uh, to the you know that uh, lab scale to the, uh, the commercial scale, you have to handle huge amount of uh, liquid. Naturally, you have the, the the time requirement for the sterilization will be very high, as compared to so this is one of the bottleneck, and second bottleneck is the time of uh, this uh, uh, exposure time, and due to the, these two reason that our we don't use this uh, in the industry we don't use the batch sterilization process for the sterilizing the media so what we use we use the continuous sterilization now batch sterilization uh, i shall i shall discuss little bit in uh, in details that in the in the batch sterilization what is happening that you know uh, the liquid media is mostly uh, is commonly sterilized is sterilized in the batch vessel where it will be used and the heated the sterilization temperature because of what I want to mean here that you see that uh, the uh, it it add up 10 to 20 percent of the liquid volume because you know that is the uh, that condensate because this is very important when steam is used the condensate added because the 10 to 20 percent of the liquid thus the uh, dilution will be will be made accordingly the time required to achieve desired level of destruction uh, is called the holding time so this is this is the major problem that we have i shall discuss more in details here and this is the device through which we can we can uh, do the batch sterilization one is steam and the electrical heating and the heating with steam isolated heating source and cooling with the coolant non thermal coolant that we with different type of system we can use now this is the major problem that we have suppose uh, this is a liquid am i right this is a liquid that present in the reactor and we want to heat it now what do we do that uh, mm, uh, so suppose we can do it in uh, two ways we can uh, pass uh, hot air, hot uh, hot air water here and increase the temperature this is the uh, kind of starter we have or we can inject the steam directly we can inject so then increase the temperature now, now uh, when, whenever we do that, first uh, your temperature will rise like this. Then you have to hold this temperature because our sterilization temperature is 121 degrees centigrade. Am I right? And then you hold for some time in, in the decrease. Now, during heating the process, the some organism will be get killed. During the holding the process, some uh, most of the organism will be killed and cooling process also some organism will give. So, total sterility not only depends on the holding section, it depends on the heating section as well as in the, uh, the cooling section. Now, this is the apart from the contamination, the heat of sterilization destroy the nutrient in the media. High temperature short time techniques is used, so that the time exposure is drastically reduced the holding time we can holding time what is the speciality of that in the holding time you are maintaining the temperature constant so your kd value is constant so we can write the time required holding time is n1 to nt into that is reduced is uh, divided by where we can find out what is the holding time required here Now, K D can be uh, evaluated like this so that you know this is the Arrhenius equation that we know K D equal to A into A is the Arrhenius constant and E D is, is the deactivation energy required, R D is the gas constant, T is the absolute temperature. So, this can be correlated like this, this is equal to D N by D T equal to K D into N, am I right? So, if it is so, we can we can we can de derive this equation, this equation from this e equation for 4. Now, finally, we have this equation that is um, ln 2 by ln f that is final, this is uh, this is the equation we will get. The t 2 is the time at the end of the holding and T s is the, in the held of co cooling. So, uh, the equation 4 and 5 cannot be integrated till the exact time of profile during the heating and cooling period is known. So, what I what I for that is exactly I am saying that 
the, the, the amount of organism killed during heating, amount of organism being cooling and total sterility depends on the summation of this plus this plus this. So, it will be like this, this is for heating, this is a total removal, total removal of the organism is the, this is heating, then this is cooling and plus this is holding. So, all this uh, if you if you apply if you start so if you add together we will get that. Now, in case of batch process we have different device we have already shown one is steam sparging, electrical heating, heating with steam, cooling with coolant. So, this is different equation we can we can we can use just to ca calculate. Now, longer that uh, what is the major drawback the longer holding time is required uh, to treat the solid phase substrate and media containing the particles. During the scale up the longer uh, treatment time are added to achieve the same sterilization I just now I mentioned uh, resulting the same holding temperature. Sustain the elevated temperature during the heating and cooling damage the vitamin, proteins and sugar which turn the reduce the quality of the nutrient and large amount of volume is used to make the batch process tedious and energy intensive. So, this is the reason, this is a couple of reason why the batch sterilization process at all is not that they are not followed in the industry. In the industry, we follow the continuous sterilization process. And uh, one of the major um, and technique as I told you that we use that uh, HTST technique and uh, the amount and the major important factor is the steam consumption is reduced to 20 to 25 percent and uh, the total time required for the sterilization of the continuous system is 2 to 3 hours as compared to 5 to 6 hours in case of batch sterilization. The as we as we know that industry time is very important because uh, every every time they count money because how much money is spent. So, since the time required for the phase sterilization process is more, so money involvement also will be more. Now, there are two type of uh, continuous sterilization process, one is direct steam injection, another is uh, the plate heat exchanger. Let me explain. Now, direct steam injection, because uh, how it is done? Suppose this is the raw media, am I right? It is coming in this direction, and this the steam is coming in this direction. Steam is coming this way, and this is the mixing thing. And then this is this is called holding section. This is the holding, and this is this is insulated. This pipe is totally insulated, so that no heat loss takes place. So mm, the beauty, the main advantage of this process, that raw media. <coughs> and steam they instantaneously they mix together and raise the temperature. Suppose your sterilization temperature is 140 because industry we use the 140 degree centigrade because we keep it very short time not like our uh, lab 121 degree centigrade. So, this is the rapid heat up of the media that take place am I right. Then here we have expansion valve through which we put it in the flask just to throw it out then you know the flash cooling will take place and here we will get the sterilized media and here at the top the paper will go out. So, you might have seen that lot of industry they are uh, discharging lot of white fumes and white fumes are not, not nothing but it is vapor that is coming out from the that uh, <coughs> that from the from the industry. And this approach is particularly effective with media that tend to foul the heat exchanger and disadvantage is that this approach is the dilution of the media with condensed steam and difficult to control pressure and temperature due to variation of viscosity. Let's, uh, let me let me explain that because if you look at here that you are what you are doing you are mixing uh, media and steam am I right. As soon as you mix together the steam will undergo condensation. As, the, as soon as the steam undergo condensation, your media will be diluted and viscosity will be changed, density will be changed. As the vis we know the flow characteristics of the fluid depends on the viscosity and the density. So,
So as they are changing, so what will happen? The flow characteristics will change, and temperature control will be a problem. The operational problem we have. The, this is the major problem we have for operating this uh, direct steam injection technique. Now this is if you have temperature time um, uh, diagram of this particular system is like this. The temperature instantaneously increases 140 degrees centigrade and hold it and then your flash cooling, it will be flash cooling to 80 degrees centigrade, then it slowly slowly is cooled down to 37 degrees centigrade. Now plate heat exchanger that is mostly used by the industry, this is uh, what is this? This is they have different heat exchanger. This is uh, suppose this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, am I right? 3 exchanger they use. Now here this uh, 2 they, they call it economizer, eco, why they call it economizer? Because uh, what, uh, what they do that uh, here that uh, here here you are preheating the media Pre how you are preheating the media the the media after after holding section when the media is going out that heat we are using for preheating the media so that we can save lot of energy and that is why we call it economizer and then we we may raise the temperature at as high as 80 degrees centigrade then we pass through this and here might be 140 degrees centigrade then we keep it in the holding section for whatever time is required for your sterilization. Here we use steam for heating purpose and 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 then we can we can we can pass it here. Here we might be having 80 degrees centigrade or you know more than that. So here you can pass this is a chiller, this uh, this is called chiller. Chiller means we, we pass cold water uh, to reduce the temperature of the the this is uh, this is how this is operated and temperature time diagram is like this, temperature increases like this, then we hold it and then we cool, cool it like this. The economy, this is, this economy is the uh, steam requirement of heating and cooling uh, the sterilized media. This process is effective with media containing the suspended uh, uh, cell, fouling of the heat exchanger surface leaks around the heat exchanger gasket and seal fewer drawbacks of the process. The major drawbacks is the, suppose if you, if you look at this heat exchanger, this is usually the parallel plate heat exchanger, it looks like this, this is the parallel plate heat exchanger. So um, one plate we are passing hot media, another plate we are passing the that you know your media. So uh, the it may so happen the hot surface, the media comprises a lot of, uh, lot of uh, uh, organic material, lot of dissolved solid that may deposited on the surface of the uh, uh, that wall. And uh, that uh, that uh, you know that uh, scale, when there is a scale formation of the of uh, that uh, wall, that is uh, less uh, conductor of uh, heat. Naturally, your heat requirement will be more. That is undesirable. That is the major problem. And another is the leak. This you know plate and plate they bounce together with the help of some gasket. And uh, since you are how you maintain the 140 degree centigrade by increasing the steam pressure at very high. So naturally that there is every possibility that uh, there is a kind of leakage that uh, that take place inside the, in, the, in the gasket. So that you have to open it again, again rectify this problem. Now we find that in the industry that up to, uh, up to um, 140 degree centigrade we can uh, easily use uh, uh, for the sterilization of the media. Now flow characteristics of the media plays very important role. Because if you know that know that uh, we have we have uh, this is the plug flow, this is the turbulent flow, this is the lamellar flow. Now, if you have uh, this uh, lamellar flow, you can see the the uh, the, uh, the velocity gradient ac across the cross section of the tube. Now, if you take uh, this uh, velocity this velocity at the middle of the tube, then it is very high. This is u max. Am I right? Uh, naturally, then on the basis of that, if you take a, if if you consider that uh, time required for the sterilization, the here the media will be underheated. Now here, if you take this time, uh, here time for the uh, for for determining the um, uh, the uh, length of the uh, that uh, sterilizer, then you will find that your media here this will be overheated. 
Now, overheating and undershooting two problem that we have due to the that uh, flow uh, characteristics of the fluid. So, usually we prefer that plug flow is the ideal flow, very difficult to achieve, but usually we uh, use the turbulent flow so that temperature gradient across the cross section of the tube should be uh, minimum. The residence of the media in the sterilization depends on the type of fluid flow to assure the adequate sterilization. Flow is somewhat between the viscous and fully turbulent flow such that the average velocity 0.5 to 0.82 times uh, the maximum velocity. In order to maximize the overheating of the media, it is desirable to approach closely fully turbulent flow and this occurs the NRE value at least 2.5 into 10 to the power 3, preferably above 2 into 10 to the power 4. So, this is the desirable characteristics that we have of the fluid uh, for the proper sterilization of the media. Now, um, then uh, other for uh, for finding out uh, that you know that uh, uh, that, that sterilization temperature or design the sterilizer, we, we come across different uh, other parameters like picklet number which is equal to U L D Z uh, and D Z is the axial dispersion coefficient, L is the length of the sterilization and U is the velocity of the fluid. And Reynolds number we know D U rho by mu. And this is uh, how uh, we can find out that uh, dam Kohler number. This is equal to KD into L by U. This we can we can we have the correlation this n by n by n n two by n one, and this is the picklet number. As the picklet number increases, the correlation is like this. So um, if you know this value, how much uh, how much sterility degree of sterility you want to maintain, then you can easily find out that uh, what is the what is the dam Kohler number KD L by U. And if you know that uh, at particular picklet number, then you can easily find out the KD value. And KD value, as you know, it depends on temperature. You can easily calculate the temperature of sterilization. And this is the kind of uh, schematic diagram of the continuous sterilization process. That you know, this is the mixing tank where we here we we, we mix the media we mix. Uh, the uh, we, we it should be thoroughly mixed and then we pass through this uh, that you know sterilization process first the economizer then him, uh, we, we put it um, uh, this, this section then holding section here the heater is there then we put it that heating section then we this is preheating the media then cooler and then ultimately comes to the fermenter this is how we it is operated in the industry so, in this particular lecture, I try to give you how the medium sterilization is uh, carried out in, 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 the, in, the, uh, in the fermentation industry and which is uh, which plays very important role. And we observe that, uh, that, uh, that uh, continuous sterilization process is appears to be the better as compared to the batch sterilization pro process, particularly when we do it in a commercial scale. But another thing we observe that uh, that uh, the, the sterilization with the help of filtration material, material filter is not recommended in case of uh, low value products, but for high value products, which is typical cases where the media quality plays important role in the uh, in that particular biochemical process. There we can think for it. Otherwise, most of the cases we use heat as a sterilizing media. For the um, for the medium sterilization, and in the for continuous sterilization process, I mentioned that HTST technique is used. The reason is that at the high temperature, the uh, the, uh, the the the, uh, the it is more effective to kill the microorganism rather than to lose the vitamin or you know quality of the media because the exposure time will be very less. So um, thank you very much.